Moving on to the daylily, we're going to be getting an ombre. So if you look closely at each petal, there is a transition from like red at the tip to kind of a orange or color to more like a yellow gold or even pure yellow. So just like with the other flowers, you'll be putting on about three layers everywhere all over each petal. So I'm trying to get the tips in there. And then while it's still wet, I'm trying to get the kind of fade from the red to the orange to the yellow. I'm also paying attention to where is it a little bit darker. I'm exaggerating the darks a little bit on that petal. It's um, a little bit behind. It's being overlapped by two other petals. And you can see the yellow is very transparent when you first put it on. What you want it to do is you want it to kind of have a belling out effect. So you want to think of it as kind of like a funnel shape where it's sucking in kind of towards the point uh, like a cone would. So I took some time off camera to build up the layers. So there's about three layers of paint now on each petal. And I'm going to go ahead and put in those little speckles. They look like kind of these little freckled dots that are inside the throat, the center of the lily flower. So I'm using a small brush to do that. If you need to borrow one, you're welcome to. Um, you just need to come up and ask for one. I'm using the side of the brush to get a really sharp kind of point. They don't have to be perfect. And then there are these things that are inside the flower. They're called penstemons. And they look kind of like miniature hot dogs on a stick. And I counted out how many there were. So I counted six and I tried to place them in a similar pattern to how I see them on the reference picture. And there are multiple colors. I used kind of a brown and purple combination to get that. And then I mixed a mute of orange and blue to add on to them because they're not just one color, they're actually two on the little hot dog part. And then this, the connecting stem or the stick is kind of like an orange shade. And I went back over and darkened it where it connects down to the throat of the flower so it's a little bit darker there. And now I'm going to start to work on the background behind the flower. So I'm putting in the darks first. And it doesn't have to be perfect. It's okay if it's a little bit abstract. And then I'm filling in the green areas behind. And I did make my own green because I think it's always better if you make your own green versus uh, using the green we have in the containers. So I took yellow and phthalo blue together. And I think I added a little bit of orange in to get it to brown out a little bit to get more of an earthy tone. And then I just touched up the petals after putting in the green and here's my finished work.